Hello everyone, all technicians who use uh, 3Shape design software, uh, probably CAD designer or even doctors too. Uh, so this video is for denture design, especially for full denture design from intro or scan file, especially for 3Shape trios. I have two different ways to show you the how we make the digital denture from the intro or scan file. Number one, if from the clinic, if they scan the patient's old denture, wax rim, wax T setup, from the chair side by intro scanner, and we want to make new denture, okay? And clinic side, they don't scan whole upside down. They're gonna scan the intaglio nicely and also buccal and fascia only not occlusor and not hold the palate. Okay, let's hit in the design. First, I just open up the dental system work order here. What I'm gonna do it is just click from number two, number 15 to making a gingiva and also click anatomy button. This is for making a new dental design again, okay? And for making a bridge, it's very up to you. If you want to make one piece teeth, you design yourself, mill or print out yourself, make selection all bridge connect each other, or you can just segmentate like three pieces, posterior, anterior, posterior, all possible, or even all singles possible too. So for me, let me just make a bridge. One more important, important thing is, on here, gingiva is saying as mono block. Okay, mono block meaning is we want to make one piece denture, which meaning is pink base and teeth will coming out as a one piece file, one STL. We want to have a two different STL, right? Teeth and pink. So please make sure go to plus button change the type as base weed design the this okay click this and for this case i have a trios file so i want to change this as a digital impression now work order form is ready let me hit click ok and it will ask us to import scan i just do right click and import scan and the first thing it will ask us preparation scan for the upper. Let me just click denture scan file for upper, hit open, and second one probably lower antagonist. Hit OK. Third, it asks us wax rim. If you see my first video, the patient's older denture, wax rim or wax teeth setup, all kind of things could be scanned as upper jaw scan, right? That's what we just importing as an upper jaw. But third one, wax stream, we can import save file one more time, okay? So if I import this one more time, the first denture intaglio and facial buccal images gonna be used as upper mucosa and Third wax ring one, we will using this as a rear wax ring. We can see the midline, canine spot, arch, length, all the information. Okay. So now import is done. Let me right click and open the design. Okay. So I will not go over design step by step by step by step by step by for for the intro today. Okay. So today I will just explain how we import, how we use the file what button we should click on here first to make it work, okay? For detailed tools and design step, we have a bunch of other videos too. Also, we are making too. For here, we have the upper denture scan images here. Look like one piece, but actually it's not because the upper palette images is not scanned out from the chair side because we don't need to have it. So for this one, refine upper jaw skin here. Very important, please, please make sure left the bottom here, we have a small checkbox name is impression. 
okay? Without this checkbox, once we go next day to creating a bottom base of the upper jaw model, you will make some of the weird images and then uh, cannot be created nicely, okay? Please make sure. Refine, we have some small spot, but I'm gonna trim that out, so please ignore that. And a lower jaw, refine, we don't really need it. Usually, from the trios file, you can see some some red dot, but actually it's not a big deal at all. And then also trios, intro scan software, right after the scan is done, before send it to the lab, always trios software do some refining job that we call the pause process. So in that stage, small holes, artifacts, artifacts are all gone already. So usually, uh, we don't really have to do the refine on here. I'm sorry, I'm just maybe too much coffee today. Okay. And under the trim jaw, okay, we have venture images here, but I just need to trimming out to create my upper jaw. So I just flip it out and click and click and follow the border lines. Okay. Easy. Okay. And we can see some green color selections. Once we go next. For lower trim jaw, same thing. But not super important because upper jaw is more important to uh, design the full venture on top of here. Okay, so we see just upper base got create like this. This is what we want to have. Okay, so there's just several different way to scan the patient's mucosa. Okay, on chair side, there's the two to three different way, but as a lab tank who doing design this, uh, sometimes we just need to accept whatever we have, right? <laughs> so whenever you have some denture images with open palette, we can set it up like this way, okay? Trim the line, but don't forget the impression checkbox, okay? Okay, and let me just go just a few more steps, okay? Lower trimming, of course we can do it. Just click, click, click. Okay. So this video is just for how we set up the denture design case. Okay, not how to make the nice, beautiful denture design, okay? So make sure all the line, always the dot has to on the images. Okay. All the selection on the green. Go to next. Good to go. But one more thing on here. Scott upper and lower jaw stage. Sometime on chair side, doctors will do some wash impressions or relining directly from the patient's mouth. Sometimes it could have some bubbles or some some defections, small things there. So we can recognize easily. So if you have it something on here under the sculpt upper jaw, get smoothing tool to smoothing out. Maybe if you some see some lines, we can just smoothing out. Okay. Even this one, we can see some like kind of like wrinkles here, right? So we can make smooth out if needed, okay? Smooth or, minus or, plus doesn't matter, make, remove some artifact, okay? Pretty much looks fine. And before we go next stage, also before finish this stage, let me show you right on top here. We remember we import upper denture skin file as a wet swim before. So once I turn this on, the first same image of denture kiss and everything show up as a wet swim. So we can use this as a vital line for the design. Okay? Not a big deal. You can make it. Let's go to the next one, option two. Today, we address what to prepare for a new denture design from the old denture scan file. In the next video, we will address what to prepare to make the exactly same denture.